guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a hide out of a coconut. It's really cheap and really easy to do. All you're going to need is a drill, a knife or a fork to scoop the insides out, and just a glass or a cup to tip the insides in. These kind of hides are very popular with lizards, snakes, frogs, newts, salamanders, even hamsters. All different animals can use these, so this is a perfect natural hide. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a hole in the top. Now normally coconuts have these three little holes here and you can actually normally get through them with just the back end of a spoon. However, because I'll be hanging this hide, I want the hole to be directly in the middle, so that's what I'm going to do now with a drill. I know how stereotypical this is going to sound, but I totally just ruined my nails doing this. So guys, girls, if you're going to paint your nails, watch out because when you do some DIY they get ruined. Okay, once you've done that you want to drill a hole in the side and you want to make sure it's big enough so your pet that you're doing this for can fit through it. This one I'm using is 4 centimeters in diameter. So, you've got to choose your space where you're going to put it, probably around here. I'll quickly go and do that. Okay, I'm finally done. Coconuts are very strong. Um, so if you want two half highs, all you have to do now is simply saw around the centre and it will break in half and you have uh, two separate hides. Remember to obviously clean out all the coconut inside. Or you might find that you just want to hang and hide with one enter and exit hole. So simply scoop out the insides and you have a hole in the top and you can like hang that or maybe just place it in your pet's tank. But for me, I want this to have maybe three or four holes in the side so I'm gonna go off and do probably one two three possibly three more holes we'll see we'll see how it looks and I'll be back okay finally that's done and I put three holes in it in the end um a few tips put the coconut in a vise because this will really help it stay still when you're drilling it also be prepared for coconut to go absolutely everywhere and get stuck in all the drill pieces. So that's fun. Next thing we're going to do, oh by the way, keep these little things that you've just drilled the holes out of because these can come in handy later. The next thing to do is scoop out all the coconut inside. You can use like a potato peeler we have with like a, a core thing on the end that you can scoop it out or a knife so that's what I'm going to try to do now. Okay guys, so the hard part is done. I'm absolutely boiling, it's raining outside so I can't open my window, but anyway, the inside is now out. This is what's known as like the coconut meat. And you'll find that there's like the inner husk in the shell. There's probably a special name for this. This usually comes out, and once this is like peeling back, it comes out a lot easier. Next thing to do is go and wash this through with normal tap water. Okay, so this next bit is completely optional. You can pull off some of this husky strand situation. I don't like to pull off too much, but I might use this potato peeler and just pull off some of the longer hairs. Okay, now you've done that, you want to figure out how you're going to fix it to your pet's cage. Now this will vary depending on how much your pet weighs, whether they will gnaw through string possibly. So if you have a rodent of some type, they do tend to chew through things like this so you can always use like a chain and maybe like a lanyard clip which I like to call a rat hammock clip I actually sell these if I do say so myself a cheap plug but yeah I do I'll leave a link in the description below because I do ship worldwide now another thing to do if you're going to use string like me you've got that one hole at the top now you can tie a knot but it tends to slip straight through so the thing I have found that you can do is just by using buttons uh, any type. I found this one which nicely fits in with the coconut overall look and all I'm going to do is thread this through here. Obviously the knot is bigger than that hole so it won't come through and that simply locks that in and as you may be able to see in there it's nicely poured all the way through. 
Okay, and I've hung it up right in the corner so my Crested Gecko can access it. She can walk along the background, she can walk along the glass, and it's a nice shelter from the light that she has for her plants. Also, it's high up, and that's ideal for Crested Geckos. I also made a half coconut hide, which I turned into a jellyfish because I added an air plant to it. And in the last two days that she's actually lived in here, she's actually been using it loads, so I think she likes these. Also, those little pieces of coconut I said you can hold on to, if you have any pet rodents, they can actually usually gnaw it, hence why they have hides made out of coconut. But double check that before you just put it in with your pet. And even in here, even in a naturalistic terrarium, you can just add it in. Maybe little stepping places along the soil and the moss. Whatever you want to do, be creative with it. And thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped and goodbye.